after all these years he's put in a lot of hard work and dedication and it was sad that you know the channel was going to uh, cease or stop so someone got uh, was able to take over I got to appreciate uh, Luke and also family and circumstances and things like that and you know he wants to spend time with his, his young family so um, both myself and Luke Goddard uh, after discussions and now you know way forward kind of thing I'm going to be doing the you know between us both we're going to keep it going um, so we're going to have a variety of things on some familiar some a bit different hoping to get more involved with other fans hopefully joining on and giving their opinions either to build up a game or the after force of a game uh, still doing the fan cams which you managed to see over the weekend although the result wasn't great uh, Luke did a great job sent me them <coughs> excuse me and um, it all got sorted out so a few editing and technical things and that's still going off but so I'm not sure we're going to be getting there in regards to things what's happening at the club we're going to be fetching your news i.e. regarding the club itself any transfers and in managers any in goings out going we're going to try and keep updates as best we can uh, transfer winner will be coming up soon a couple of months time January or be more we're going to be getting people in rather than letting people go but again it's going to be content with things like that uh, just to reiterate what Luke mentioned as well about the you know, respect and don't be going out with uh, derogatory comments, uh, full comments as well. Uh, both me and myself, uh, both myself and Luke, are putting his own time in for this uh, because we're passionate about uh, Barnsley, our club, all, all our club, you know. Um, and we're just doing it, just trying to fetch you something to the fans. Um, sometimes, yeah, language can be a bit colourful. But in eight at moment straight after a game, um, it is what it is. Um, everybody, everybody's different, you know. Um, we, we try and we try and cater and cover all angles. Passions run high, um, but with some comments what we're actually getting said for per for pretty personal on um, bad comments to be fair, um, and it won't just like oh you swear and it will be like proper proper full on and it was yeah nasty so things like that we'll just remove you um, because like what Luke said we've been going back on some of the users it's the same stuff all the time uh, it just seems to be like a, just aim 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 we've all got opinions that's the beauty about it you can either agree or disagree uh, but it's all about opinions but when you start making it personal against people that's it's, it's not on you know, uh, Steve will put a, a few opinions across. Uh, some may agree, some I don't agree. But that's all part and parcel of uh, this day and age, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like if everybody had the same opinion, then we won't be having any debates after the game or before the game for build match build up and things like that. Um, so a lot's been said about that. A lot of people said about West End, so it's just a recap on stuff what's happening at West End and my thoughts. I think the whole PR side on it uh, were handled badly, and the CEO actually came out in the fans forum and said that uh, you know it could have been better. Um, so I'm not going to go too much on that because I know that uh, there were some videos and there were uh, pretty long videos. So my my personal thoughts were it could have been handled a lot better. It's a messy, confusing situation regarding the council, the crimes, and the rest of the board. What's here? What's going to be get done? Is it going to be done foreseeable? No one knows. In my opinion, if if I was a scene to call in the West End, which I'm not, I'm in the Ponty End. Or if I went West End and I went to get relocated, it's how long is it going to get relocated for? There's no dates. There's nothing. Saying, oh, you're only going to be going there for end of season, or you're only going there for three, four months until these issues are sorted out. But some season ticket holders have reluctantly had to, and they get, you know, get refunds. So in my eyes, and you know, I may be wrong in this, I might not be. I'm just, it's just what I'm assuming. And like I said, everybody's opinion is that this ain't going to happen anytime soon. The situation in the West End, because there's no dates, 
whether it's going to get done at end of season who knows who knows but that's my thoughts on that and for a guy the manager again I could spend another time on this and I don't want to really do that I just want to give you more to introduce myself and what's on the back channel but the manager first I'd have thought it had gone before the international break and when it didn't I think he'll just I think they'll just wait until he actually resigns a few factors in that yet again is that money he's got a three year contract he's not going to walk away from a three year contract if it had been a two year contract maybe the board had you know was settled up and paid up and move on but again statements coming out saying that we brought a shop in to pay, play this attacking pressing in your face football but when it's coming it's coming and he's like alter the way we play uh, last season under Ishmael some of his football weren't great but we were in the face we were at him we had a bit of an identity you know people were talking about our style of play we wanted everybody's cup of tea but it got results and when Ishmael came in last season remember this we were in bottom three as well he came in to do a job and keep his up and he did that because he came in and he addressed, he addressed his style of play he addressed it as in eye pressing, eye tempo, sweeper keeper, in your face, take it to him. And we did that. And we went on an unbelievable run. Did we have an achieve and get in playoffs? People may be saying, oh, well, we're going to play. We did. But I think Ishmael came in to do a specific job and that was to keep us in this division. He did that. After that, everything for me was a win win bonus. And it went on, like I said, we went on an unbelievable run. Some of the results were, you know, some of the results is away results. And people can all go back and say, yeah, but we're no fans at the stadium and it might have been different to the fans. If but some maybe, but at the end of the day, Ishmael came in and achieved what he had to achieve with the group of players that he had. Yeah. Shops came in and he's all to the style of play, trying to play out and trying to. Play nice tip tap football, but it's going sideways and backways. But when we get into final third, and then when you've got players coming out actually saying things, what's happening or not happening in training, it makes you wonder are the players just like playing training with no direction, no guidance? You look at the backroom staff, the members what have left, again, I'm not going all the way through that because it's been highlighted and been documented on forums and stuff. So, if something's not right at club. I think we all can agree on that. I think the vast majority want to shop out. But then when you also look at the, the transfer summer recruitment as well, did he get backed? That's another debate we can go on. So it, it, when you strip it back to bare bones, you keep going back and back and back. And you're looking for identity uh, areas where you can identify where it, it's gone wrong. Um, so shops came in to mirror the attacking, pressing, you know, direct football. <clears throat> and it's changed the style of play. Now the CEO was admitted that yeah, that's the kind of football, but we haven't got, you know, that's not us. You can't just change from one completely different style and go to another, and not also invest in the in the team, the squad, basically. Injuries. Some of these injuries, albeit from uh, 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 Morris, and the first game. All the other injuries seem to be happening for me in training. Is our training different? You know, Sibby got left out uh, for disciplinary issues. Just weird, weird choice and decisions. And you look on pitch, um, players playing different positions, uncomfortable. And then when we do make a mistake, they get named, named on, you know, in media, we should have done better this way. We, I think us as fans, we all can see what's happening on pitch, and we appreciate the fan, you know, ugly scenes with Collie Woodrow. You know, it could have gone several times a couple of years ago. The position where he's playing is now is not suited to him. You know, it, 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 and he's trying, but he's trying too much, in my opinion. He's trying too much. He's coming into midfield, he wants to take. Corners, he's wanted to do everything. Now, if he's wanted to do that, surely a manager should be turning around and training and addressing them issues in training. 
yet you can't rely on 'im all the time. 'E's the Captain. 'E's taking corners. 'E wants to ... You got to work on things like this in training. 'Ave a back up plan. 'Ave summink different. Under Ishmael it was so different. You know there's always summink there. So that's my opinion on that. Er ... Coming up to Bristol City weekend. All been well. I'm hoping to get a Bristol City fan, a guest on. Hoping to do a bit on our side and their opinion on how their season's going. Bit of a banter. If that don't work out, we will do a match preview with one of the guests from Tax TV. Might be Luke, could be Craig, I don't know, it depends who's available. Uh, Getting in touch with sure we can sort of summon out for uh upcoming game. And um, uh, for Bristol City uh fan doesn't or can't uh, make it then we'll see about doing a, an after match. Uh, we're also trying to look at time allowing because of work commitments and stuff like that. Um fan cams and all Luke's wanting to do is take on it kind of thing. Um I possibly might go through some uh like a player rating kind of style system. Uh, just to break down on performances of a player. Not and it's not like a slating player. I don't want to get into this like oh this player's made a poor game, played shade, but but rate the player has been playing in that position, he looked uncomfortable. Uh Adebejo, um <laughs> I thought he had a, a great game and I think he said it all when he got subbed off, you know, for a shot getting game ball because Adebayo, I think he had one of his best games for Barnsley in a red shirt for quite a while. Um, and, you know, some weird, again, going back to managing again, so I try to keep away from that, but it's like things like that, I can, we can go, review it and go through, you know, bit by bit. Collins, for me, he'd have been getting Bouncer Man at match for quite a bit because of some of the things he's been doing. Um, ideally, you'd like it to be the other way around and be an attacker because he's scoring goals and another area we need to address. Uh, statistic wise so yeah that's just quick intro what's going to be happening uh, where we're going to be going forward please like subscribe hit bell notification so as soon as any content comes up you get notified straight away I do appreciate um, every one of you for watching um, please leave your you know your, your comments below what possibly you know other ideas you, is it possible that you'd like to see happening um, we will look at all avenues because we just want to keep on going and going and going with this channel. So it's something different we're going to be gaining, different opposition fans, uh, looking at player reviews, breaking news, anything that's happening at the club, everything bounds the football club orientated uh, and as opposed to what are going to be coming up. It's all about banter, it's all about keeping fans informed, have a bit of fun and a laugh because we all need it, especially a bit dark when it's coming up and things aren't exactly going well on and off the pitch kind of thing. So yeah. Uh, that's me, I'm just giving a quick intro, uh, a few people have been asking uh, when am I going to do one, when I'm gonna, you know, but like I said, the work commitments, but now things have been settled down and that, getting to a bit of a pattern, this is the way I'm hoping and wanting it's going to be going, just uh, just be respectful, we're all, we've all got opinions on that, but yeah, I hope to hear from your comments, um, and thank you for watching, I appreciate every one of you. Uh, come on you Reds